Hi, this is Gene from iFix Smartphone. Today I got this uh, Bose speaker that had a bad charging port and didn't really think about how it's designed. They are pretty much the uh, same internally. And I started taking it apart and it was pretty easy to take it apart. But then, just wanted to share my opinion with you guys on this charging port. I mean, it was so easy to get this port out and if there was a replacement parts available, I would have just gotten it, but there's nothing available. So I had to actually uh, try to fix the port and got this out. And this manufacturer, Bose manufacturer, obviously do not think about uh, repair. They just want you, just because of, of the bad port, they want you to buy a new port because this is the flex that goes to the main board, to the speaker and this four connectors that leads to the charging port, but you can see it. They pretty much like glue the whole connector inside of the port. So making it impossible, nearly impossible. And um, I am trying to get this thing like heat it up, remove it to get an access to see if I can replace the port but it's just so frustrating how they did this and just wanted to share my opinion so anyway i'm gonna update this to you later uh see if i have some success okay i got the port actually pulled out and this is just a floor some horrendous design um obviously they got this port pin connected by this metal piece to here to get to the flex board so uh, obviously there's no parts available for this so i'll just have to find some compatible port and the uh, solder this connector to this wire uh, to the metal bar so that it makes some kind of contact this is terrible but let's see what i can do Okay, so I ended up finding a port and sort of the uh, jumping wire. As you can see, I uh, sort of the wires on there. So I have to disconnect this port from the metal pin and connect each wire to here. So since I have more length of the wire, it should be easier for me to um, put it in here. And then, um, and then glue the port and see if it works. Okay, it's ugly, but all the pins are connected by the solder jumper wire. And port is in there. And let's see uh, if it charges. All right, I got it installed. Got the uh, speaker module connected and I had to actually glue the uh, port just to make sure it holds it there steady because uh, when you're pressing in there, it may cave in. So I didn't want that to happen. So I waited a day. So I'm gonna assemble and let's see what happens. Okay, I got it all assembled and as you can see the port is there. So it's nice and all fixed. Um, like I said, I have to glue that inside so it doesn't when I push that in there, I don't want that to like cave in. So let me see if I plug it in there. Looks like it's getting pretty tight. Battery low, ready to connect. There it is. It's charging. My amp meter shows six amp. So definitely charging i think it uh, i think i can call this a successful repair and if you have any questions you can drop me an email through ifixsmartphone.com thanks for watching